guys let's get started so this is going to be how to rock lipstick easy steps first things first totally optional you don't have to do this however if your lips are chapped or um peeling you can exfoliate your lips elf has a lip exfoliator for only three bucks however you can do old school way with some sugar and some oil or some vaseline and some sugar and just exfoliate it but you're going to exfoliate your lips i'm going to be using the elf lip exfoliator and you just apply it to your lips and it helps make your skin soft your lips soft and also if your lips are peeling, are they cracked, are they flaking, exfoliating your lips will help your lips be a lot more smoother when you apply your gloss. And wipe that off and it will take away all of your dead skin cells. Now this is totally optional as well, but I'm going to apply a little lip balm. This is LYD Green Tea Lip Balm. I'm going to apply this to my lips just so my lips can be a little moisturized. Oftentimes, lip liners and lipsticks can be very drying, so I like a little bit of lip balm. I like to apply a lip liner before my lipstick. Lip liner helps to prevent your lipsticks from feathering. Feathering just means your lipstick moves around. Oftentimes, if you have like a very waxy or very greasy textured lipstick, it can move around on your lips. You don't want that. Also, lip lining can help your lips to look fuller. It also can prevent your lips from staining. Oftentimes, with a bright lipstick, it will stain your lips. So, a lip liner will help prevent your lips from staining. If you have two-tone lips, meaning your lips are two separate colors, apply a lip liner before your lipstick to give your lipstick a even color to apply to. Now it's lipstick time. I'm using a NYX lipstick. The title of the lipstick will be down below in the description bar. But I'm going to apply this lipstick all over my lips. Now, I will leave my lipstick like this. However, this is totally optional. If you have a lipstick and it kind of doesn't look well for your skin tone, a great way to make a lipstick work for you is take a dark brown lip liner. If you are a lighter skin tone, you would apply a lighter brown, something that matches your skin a little bit. But take a dark brown lip pencil and apply that to your lips. And this will allow your lipstick to look better. Again, another option you can do is some lip gloss. This is some regular plain elf lip gloss. If you want your lip gloss to be shiny or you want a little bit of shine to it, apply a lip gloss over your lipstick. Now this is the most important rule, the finger rule. This will prevent your lipstick from getting all over your teeth and you looking crazy. Now, I'm going to give you every single option available when applying lipstick. If your lipstick is kind of messy or you want to clean it up, take a concealer and clean up your lips. If you maybe messed up and apply a little lipstick on your chin or a little bit lower than it's supposed to be, applying a concealer around your lips will clean it up. Totally optional. I don't do this often, but like I said, it's an option. And this is how to apply lipstick with lots of different options for different lips. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to thumbs up, subscribe, comment, like my Facebook page, all that amazing stuff. Anyway, this was a highly requested video, which, yeah, a lot of people requested this video. So here you go. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!